Well, the iconic Allied Express logo was starting to filter back to the races after the New South Wales floods ravaged their training facilities. The Allied Express team up and running. They've got a number of good chances at the Club and Angle meeting on Tuesday afternoon. I caught up with their gun young driver, Leighton Green, to discuss their prospects. Well, Leighton, before we discuss the chances of the runners at Club Manegal on Tuesday afternoon, first of all, congratulations, your second Group 3 winner with Total Diva last week, backing up from the 100 winner barrier you broke through. Yeah, thank you very much. It was great to um, achieve that, so it was good. As I said in the introduction, the Allied Express logo is starting to filter back to the track, gliding away, very impressive in scoring here tonight. Yeah, he's just a good old horse, old gliding away. I think since we've had him, he hadn't finished out of the top three, so he's been a great horse for us, so it's been good. Back in the field running last, I thought you had the job ahead of you. Yeah, I was a little bit right around the bend there because he just does what he has to, but when he still got the outside of the horses there and he knew it was time to go, so he's just tried his hard at that horse. They got a very easy middle section. They went out in 27.4, but 30.2, 29.4, then home in 27, and he just hit the line strongly. 15 starts this season, Leighton, five wins, 10 placings. He's just an honest horse. Oh, he is. And, um, yeah, we just, you wouldn't mind 10 of them in your barn sort of thing, so yeah, we're looking forward to getting them all of him. So. Good to see the Allied Express team back on, in action once again. Yeah, it's great. Sort of being, um, we've got a few running at Goldman on Monday and we've got something on Tuesday, so hopefully we get a couple of winners. Let's have a look at those runners on Tuesday. In the first, Prince of Peace now, 12 starts, just one minor placing, four trials heading into this race, his last two resulting in solid wins. Yeah, he, early on, he's always had the ability. He just had a lot of things go wrong, sort of. Um, so he's come back stronger, and so um, he's back. He's back in a low grade. So hopefully, um, Cole can get him in the nice spot there. I'm sure he'll be thereabouts and be hard to beat. So. Yeah, as you mentioned, the boss taking the reins behind this particular fella. Yeah, Cole wants to have a couple of winners, so uh, he's low in grade. So Cole should be able to get a couple of winners on him. So be good. The ten-year-old veteran Betters Pocket also back from a spell in the third event. He's a very solid performer, and his trial win was us at uh, Penrith. Yeah, he's he's, he's, been, he's another horse. It's one honest horse, so he's uh, dropped right back in the low grade. So hopefully, if he's uh, fit enough and good enough, um, ability-wise, he can win that. So just hopefully, it's thereabouts. In race five, you're driving Chronicles for the uh, local fireman Scott Wade, coming off a very solid third behind Ghostly Courage last week. Yeah, I was really impressed with his run last week. So. If he can get a nice spot there again um, on Tuesday, I'm sure he'll be there for sure. Now over to race nine. I thought the best bet on the card, Leighton, was Black Onyx, a horse that you've certainly got a lot of time for. Yeah, I love that horse. He's an honest horse. Um, so probably just, yeah, just see how the race turns out. But um, I'm sure just ability-wide, he'll, he'll definitely be um, be there, there thereabouts. So. He hasn't raced since the end of June, went third behind Unface. He's another very strong performer, and his trial efforts have been also very pleasing for Kerry and Dean. Yeah, his last one wasn't the greatest, so um, just a few things went wrong after it. So he um, gave me a little bit of time, he brought him back, and he come back strong again. Trialed uh, real good at Penrith, his first trial. I think it was 57, something over 2100. As we all know, that, that's pretty quick around Penrith. And um, trialed here real good in a, a fast last quarter. So, yeah, really happy with him. Also resuming from a spell is Bertie Jones in the final event, also coming off some nice trials. Yeah, he's, he's another horse, but sort of come back strong, so hopefully he is, I know it's a pretty strong race, but um, I'm sure if he's thereabouts, he'll, he'll definitely be thereabouts for sure. And the boss has decided to take the range behind Bertie? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I might be picking the drive up on him, but, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. The best of them, Leighton? Um, I think probably Prince of Peace and, and Black Onyx, um, only because Black Onyx is my favourite, but Prince of Peace, he's uh, very low on grade and he should be better than those horses. Well, Agent, good luck and continue the good work. Thank you very much.